guys welcome to another two pets tech video in this video i wanted to share some of my thoughts about instax after about a couple of weeks of use and things that i find uh, is a bit sucky about instax film so firstly i'm old enough to have lived through when film was the only option in terms of taking pictures i didn't think it was that great i mean you had to wait for things to get developed, film were expensive per image. So um, I don't know, the, the romance of film is, is kind of lost on me. But apart from that, the thing with Instax particularly is that uh, it's being marketed to casual users and for kids, but it's actually quite easy to mess up the image if, um, if you don't do things properly. The base models like the Mini 9, you have to pay attention to the metering system and you have to turn some dials you can't just point and shoot like you can with cell phones i mean cell phones are, are so sophisticated now they're pretty much idiot proof and in terms of the quality the quality of the print is actually pretty low i mean it's equivalent to lower than or lower than cameras from 10 years ago i mean i believe the uh, dots per inch for the image uh, for the instax mini is about is less than 800 by 600 dpi so that's like what that's not even a whole megapixel probably half a megapixel in particular with the uh, use of analog cameras it's actually less instant than taking a cell phone picture because you actually have to wait for the image to develop so you don't even know if you've messed it up and what i've found personally anyway is that uh, the best way to get the best prints from instax film is to not use an instax camera like uh, most of the shots that I've printed on the Instax Mini have act on the Mini Lee Play have actually been shot from proper cameras. And um, I've also got the Fuji SP3, which is a dedicated square format printer. And obviously that one I have to use a dedicated camera for. I find the results are far superior than the ones taken with the Mini Lee Play camera so now having said all that will i be persisting with instax will i be returning this stuff no the the answer is no i'm gonna keep going with instax and and it's not just because i've actually spent quite a bit of money in terms of the hardware and buying all the film i, I think i bought over 100 bucks worth of film because i'm trying to uh, keep the cost per print down and buying in bulk is a way to do that so the first reason why I'm persisting is that I'm not a casual user, you know, I'm, I'm willing to kind of experiment and uh, work at, you know, using uh, the limitations of the medium to get the results that I want. I also have a few creative projects that I'm working on that uh, Instax will actually play a part in and uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, if you're not new to the channel, then you know that I like old digital cameras and I'm a bit of a glutton for punishment anyway and actually like getting as much as I can out of crappy cameras like my old digital cameras like this guy which is I think over 10 years old uh, maybe not 10 years old but it's getting there and at least for now I'm staying away from the completely analog cameras because I don't think I want to commit to learning about how to use them properly to get good results. But I am uh, excited about using the Lee Play and the SP3 for printing out from my dedicated camera shots. And lastly, I think it might sound like I've drunk from the Kool-Aid, but I think part of the charm of instant cameras and instant film and Instax in particular is that the pictures aren't supposed to be perfect and high res. I think part of the charm is that they do kind of suck a little bit and they're a little bit fuzzy and you know the colors aren't quite right you know it, it's kind of i guess instagram kind of popularized that with like putting all these filters on top of images so what do you think uh am i nuts for investing time and money on instax and film or is film coming back i know it's a bit of a niche thing and i know it, you know you kind of have to have a bit of a disposable income but I think you need a bit of a disposable income to get into photography anyway. So let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.